Hi everyone, welcome to the last video from this Fish Mandela um, Lost Ocean by Johanna Basford. We're going to do the last three fish in this video because they are quite small and I don't think they'll take very long. It's very difficult to do very much in the way of sort of shadows and shading when they are so tiny even though we are using little pencils. I'm going to start with some pinks. Actually, my first pencil is going to be 299, which is the calming dark, but I don't I think it's a good color. So here we go. Which fish? Um, this one. I don't know why. So if you have a look at the um his fins and tail, there are sort of stripy lines. I am going to just colour right over the whole thing and block it in. It's too much for me. Um, you can make it stripy if you want to. But for me, I'm just blocking that in because it's such a small fish. And I want to make it easy for you as well as for me. So my next colour, I nearly dropped my sharpener then, is the 23, which I think is the Bordeaux. Now we're going to do some stripes. I want the face to be light because our fish faces have been light. Now you can try to fade your colour towards the middle here on these stripes. I'm going to try, but I'm not convinced it's going to be particularly successful in such a little bitty area. But you can just layer that up a little bit on the edges if you want to. And then our very last colour is our 25 which is just called pink and I'm going to do the remaining stripes to start with that end one was so tricky I just coloured right over it but these I'm going to just try and fade a little bit towards the middle but I really don't think it's um, showing up now for the face darker on the edges a bit lighter towards the middle There he is, done. I'm not going to do the white until the end though, because um, I'll only smudge it. I think it's a bit too pale. There we go, fiddling away. But right, our next fish is going to be grey. Um, we haven't used any grey. Um, it was a toss up between grey and brown, and I thought as we used this sort of brownie shades, I'd use grey. So 890 is our cool grey 13. What a strange name. Um, and I am going to do again the fins and tail. See, you can notice the theme here, all my fins and tails are darker. It's how I always colour fish, well, most of the time. I don't think fish look like this, but you know, it's just supposed to be a nice colourful palette. And um, I think it's nice to be cons oops, consistent. I'm just trying to sharpen my next grey and it jumped out of my hand. This is the 80 which is the um, light grey. And I'm going to do these triangular pieces. Now I'm tempted to try and fade it as I go into the middle, but I think it's actually going to be too difficult um, to see them otherwise, the contrast between the two greys. And I am going to do something different here. I'm going to make that the face colour just because my other grey is so pale it's just too pale it's still his face is still quite pale because my last grey I'm going to sharpen it is the number 800 which is just called cool grey it's really quite pale and I think it'll be better contrast between this and the um, oops these pointy in bits and um, the everything else really. I just feel that it's the better choice. It's quite pale, isn't it? I'm going to try. I'm trying to make it a bit darker on those edges. You can swap it round if you want and do this on the face. It's up to you. There we go. Now I've got two pencils only for our last fish because it's so little, and because I colours I've picked there isn't a third that works with it that I haven't used already so this is 633 and this is called slate blue 
but I think it's quite purpley. See what you think. I'm going to use it on my fins. Now we've got three sections on this fish. I think it's far too many and too complex to colour in separately. So I'm just going to use my 330, which is my powder blue. Now I would call this a sort of cornflower blue. It's quite a purpley blue, more like a, um, I don't know, apart from saying cornflower blue. I'm going to go try and put more layers on the outside than the inside. That was my mum calling. I'm going to call her back in a few minutes. I'm just going to finish this video. So we're doing the 330, so just a little darker on the edges than the middle. And then I think I'm happy and done. I'm going to use my Jelly Roll 5 though for the white because um, they're so small. And just the same. Oh, it didn't want to show up, does it? Just the same as we've been doing on the other fish. I might have to use my eight. It's not really showing up, is it? Let's use the eight. I think my five might have run out, to be honest. There we go. That's better. So there are our final three fish for you. Um, the blues are quite close together, aren't they? But I think it'll work. Um, there we go, so I've got the rest of the page to finish and I will show you the completed page at some point somehow, maybe at the end of this video, probably at the end of this video, but it might be in my on my socials or in my completed pages, but I'll show it you at some point. But anyway, thank you for joining me for the whole series. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a super day and I'm off to phone my mum. So happy colouring!